ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Good morning. everybody in America and everybody whoever is listening to your fair 420 podcast. This is already, you already know your main host, Chino. And today's special guest on today's podcast is Efrain. What's up, my boy? What's up, brother? How are we doing today? Okay, we're doing decent. You know, we already ripped like two dads. You're already on your third one. Like, oh, it's all I'm good. not, I'm not, I'm not high enough yet. So we're going to have to go as we, we're going to have to keep taking dabs as we go. No, uh, yeah, for sure. But anyways, today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a good one. It's going to be another good one for sure. A fantastic one. Um, mm. We got, you know, both both speakers dabbing. Um, oh. You know, my puff coat, as you That's already know, harder. you know, it's, it's sure. not it's not here with us because, oh. you know, she's she's a little sick. She needs a new you uh adapted. atomizer yeah, yeah. Oh. Go. He, he, he kept getting confused with the word <laughs> so, <laughs> so we brought back you know the the survivor the that's, that's why i call her the survivor because the glass you know, rig it is a nice yeah. rig bro i like i like the size of it it one i don't is, one is like pink and yeah. it's small and it's she's lasting me the longest because all my rigs <laughs> i, have I actually broken. like small rigs too bro because they're easier to handle if mm-hmm. you have a bigger rig bro it's easier to break. Dude, I'm not gonna. I love the designs, but I'm just too clumsy with it, so I'm not gonna waste. Yeah, anything, you know? yeah. So I and that's why it. I settled with what I got right now. That's the Cardi V one. The this card. shit works miracles, bro. I, I used to call my card the Cardi. The Cardi. Yeah, <laughs> I, got, so, I was so, not doing that. So I, I got some Cardi action, you know. Like, well, hey, yeah, you know Cardi. what? You, you know what? Let's. I'm gonna hit the Cardi. I'm gonna hit yeah, the Cardi. Yeah, you get the Cardi action. <laughs> Fuck it, let's turn it on. Oh uh, yeah, nah, but. But, you know, as, as for everybody who, you know, has been catching up with us, uh, you know, we have the YouTube channel. So our recent uh, trip to Michigan was, of course, Grand Rapids. And that's how I met a special guest today, you know, because oh, yeah. he was actually butt tending me. So, you know, amazing service. So if you guys ever had Grand, Grand Rapids, Michigan, pull up at Cloud <laughs> Cannabis. I'm on 28th Street, so meet me there. So. Uh, you already know. It's approved by Kenavai. Kenavai certified. Hell yeah. Uh, it's been a minute since we used it. <laughs> but, it has uh, been a minute, bro. How you been? I was gonna ask you that. I've been decent. I've been really decent. Oh yeah. I know oh, yeah. today. I like to hear. Today, as as we're recording, is the the day after Super Bowl. So yeah, there is no more football. Day. So everybody who loves football, including myself, their Sundays are now useless. Yeah. Oh, nothing excited. <laughs> <laughs> nothing excited for till August. <laughs> funny, funny you say that, bro. Mm-hmm. Now I can go so... to work on Sundays. <laughs> yes. Be with the kids on Sundays. <laughs> bro, and it was so so slow yesterday. So we were we were just watching. Our whole our whole team mm-hmm. was watching the game. Oh, that's so. What time you, you were working late? Yeah, and then when I got when I got to uh, a homie's house, it was like. Eight, so the game was still going on. Not bad, not bad. That's what's up. So, anyway, yeah. since since we're on, on the Super Bowl, what what did what did you first? Who did you want to win? Dude, I had Niners. I'm not gonna lie. I know a lot of people are gonna be upset. Oh no, I'm with last the Niners too, bro. the last time I went with the Chiefs, they I believe they won, mm-hmm. and then this year I was like, fuck it. I mean the Lions lost. I'm a big I'm 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 a bigger Lions fan. Mm-hmm. So if the, I'm going with the team that beat the Lions. So if you're able to beat the Lions, you're able to beat the the Chiefs. That's, Man, that's it was such funny, a tight but game. You, but that's funny because the Lions actually beat the Chiefs. Exactly. That's what I was saying, season. bro. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> so with that being said, bro, like I was just it was I called a, a close game from the from the start too. JJ mm-hmm. McCaffrey scored that one touchdown, and then I, so did Isaiah Pacheco, and then I didn't know who, I don't know who, I don't remember who scored the last touchdown, but uh, I was I was I was in the kitchen, and all I hear is everybody cheering, in the point at the party, bro, and I see Chiefs fans celebrating, and I'm I lost the bet. Ooh. I had I had a parlay of two I had a parlay of fifty. Damn. And I was gonna get I was gonna get like two hundred back and I lost that shit. So wow. all right, so here's the thing. 
I was choosing the 49ers because I'm one, I'm not a Mahomes fan, and I'm most definitely right right now not Travis Kelsey fan because the Taylor. Yeah. Ugh, the Swifties. Ugh. Yes. Oh my god. I was watching the news <laughs> as uh yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and and the news are showing that there is this Super Bowl Swifty party and they call it the Swifty Bowl. Oh, so, uh, right. all the all the people were just there just to see Taylor Swift, of course. Oh my God, Taylor Swift! <laughs> oh, yes. bro, yes. and and what pissed me off more was when the fucking <laughs> Chiefs scored. Uh-huh. Of course, you see Ice Spice next to next to Taylor Dude, Swift, and I was like, bro, what the is, fuck? Why is that fucking puppet there, bro? She don't nothing about fucking bro, like, NFL, uh, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> that shit just like, pissed let, me off. Um, they're just but, they're just surrounding everything around the relationship between Travis Kelsey uh-huh. and Taylor Swift, and it's annoying, bro. I've seen it so much on Instagram. It it's uh, it's understandable for the marketing purposes. Yeah. But now it's like getting too it's over, you know. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, yeah, no manches way, you know. <laughs> for real, bro. I can't like. Ugh. But uh, but yeah, but anyways, as as throughout the game, because I was I was actually uh, I didn't get be able to catch the first half. Yeah, but I caught the second half and the rest of the game. But from from what I was watching throughout the game, I was noticing that how San Francisco was literally just like playing ass. Like, how were they like losing the ball? You know, like not catching the ball. Here's the thing, I realized that Patrick Mahomes tends to run the ball because he's he's a quarterback that runs. There's not a lot of that in the league. Uh, Lamar Jack mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes probably do it the best. Brock Purdy didn't run the didn't run the ball for shit, bro. Only that one play, and I think he got fucking sacked or some shit like that. But I I lost faith when Brock Purdy ran it the first time and he couldn't do shit about it, bro. He wasn't he he was hitting his targets. Kittle was there, so it was McCart McCaffrey. Mm-hmm. But I uh, thought what you thought about Debo playing, dude. He was good, mm-hmm. but bro, he didn't he get it injured. He did, but I feel like I didn't get to see him a lot of like catch. Yeah, it. bro. So they weren't uh, using him a lot. <clears throat> yeah, and I remember, and I know in the first part of the game, I know they they benched uh, Kelsey for some. Oh, for but real? We, yeah, they he, Kelsey was benched, and he was kind of pissed about it. Oh wow! And they brought him back into the game. Oh shit! I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so we were we I, we were winning because of that reason. Oh really? And then the you know mm-hmm. the Chiefs won to go on to win it and I lose my money. Uh, that's just stupid. Oh though. man, I feel like they really had a game and they literally just had to like the, I feel like the defense also didn't put a lot of mm-hmm. defense. Like they were no. very like I felt like the defensive coordinator didn't know how to run the right place because yeah, I felt like his ass was nervous. <laughs> you know, you know what, you know what the thing was too. Mm. Uh, from Bleacher Report, uh, said that players from the San the Forty Niners players admitted that they didn't know about overtime rules. So that that probably would have been the cause too. But I don't know. So That's what? So did the so did the Chiefs knew about the overtime rules? Because oh, bro, they've been to the they've been to the Super Bowl so many fucking times. They they. But well, wasn't this supposedly the the new first? Well, I think so. I think they had implemented some new rules. So yeah, I feel I like it was how, confusing. I don't know how the 49ers wouldn't know. You guys are football players. Come on now. All right. I'm not too sure, man. Yeah, but who knows? I We're, don't know. It's just I just watched the game. <laughs> I, I did, but like I just felt like they just were like they forcing themselves to, to play as. I don't know. Like yeah, they weren't they fully playing themselves. Yeah. And the, I don't know. <clears throat> that, the first think... half was shit. The first half they were they they were bodying people, bro. Mm-hmm. But then when Kelsey came in and I think Debo went down, that's when shit went bad. And we also lost Williams too. I think that's his last name too. We lost the player in the first. We lost two good players in the beginning. That was not good. I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't think the the Chiefs were meant to win that that Super Bowl. Ugh, bro, I was going 49ers all the way. I sound. Bro. I sound like a hater, but it's just like, come on, like ah, uh, I could hear Kermit the Frog talk. <laughs> <laughs> and nah, bro. And the, I also went against them because of the Swifty thing. I just hated it. 
I don't uh, know. It's it's annoying. To it that is point. annoying. It, it is really annoying. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how how next season plays. Yeah. We'll see how the off season plays out. Yep. <laughs> um, cause it's crazy already, and we're barely about to be uh, barely off to the off season. <laughs> yeah. Um. Did you? How, how how you feel about the the Bill Belichick situation that he didn't get a head coach spot? Oh, with who? I didn't he hear hasn't. about this. He hasn't gotten. He hasn't gotten a spot no... at all. No. What? Yeah, that's crazy. I would assume that people would already pick him up, bro. He's as legendary, of, bro. As of right now, no, he hasn't gotten a spot. Oh wow, I didn't hear about this, bro. That's crazy. I'm like, damn. I, I why? Oh, and he's just a free agent already. I, I'm guessing, yeah, because uh, I somebody has, yeah, he is because um the Patriots already has somebody already oh, some you, some other oh. head coach already. <clears throat> I would assume he would be. I hope he would be better. I would hope. I don't know. Bill Belichick had that run with Tom Brady, uh, fucking Gronk and Edelman, bro. Where mm-hmm. they run, they I think they won two Super Bowls in a row too, or three. Well, yeah, I mean the whole era bro, with Tom Brady. Oh my god, that's the that I'm not gonna lie that that was the best era of football right there. I really wasn't into the football around that time. I recently got football like two, three years ago. So I, yeah, I used to like I, I just just watch it. I used to too. watch it, right, you know, once in a while when I, yeah. I was a kid. But now it's like I kind of sit down and really sink yeah. in, and because this shit's pretty decent. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, if you're really into it, you know. I'm more into baseball and basketball. That's where I that that's the sports I like to watch. Oh, yeah, football. Real? I I've just been keeping up since a kid. You a Tigers fan then? I'm a Yankees guy. Oh, I, yeah, you, I, I I I'm from Puerto Rico, mm-hmm. and I. We moved out to New Jersey, so I, as a kid, I, me and my dad used to go to uh, Yankee games and shit like that. So, that's how that's how I became a Yankees fan, watching Jeter and A Rod. Oh, okay, not bad, not bad. That's Hell yeah, that. I'm a Cubs fan, but you know, <laughs> shit, you guys got some good players now. We used to. The 20- I know that. 2016, I mean, yeah. 2016 was your fucking year, bro. Yeah, it was. And then we tried to redo that again, and we couldn't. We fucking lost in the playoffs. Oh, And you live in Chicago, too? So I just moved out to the suburbs, but, I, you know, I my whole life, I, yeah, I, I lived yeah. in the city. I love Chicago, bro. So you've been to Chicago? Oh, yeah, multiple times. Oh, shit. Okay. My, favorite, my favorite pizza spot is Lumo Nazis. Bro, oh, hands I, down. I like more Giordano's, but Giordano's. I, 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 yeah, I had to. I last time I went with my girl, and uh, we were waiting outside. They, I know the one in downtown. I think they had one in downtown. We were waiting for like a good thirty to an hour, bro. It was crazy, mm. but the, it was so worth it. I'll say that it was so so yeah, worth sure. it. Um, there's I I I think Detroit Little Caesars is pretty oh. bomb. Bro, have you been to Buddies? No, bro. Here's the thing. Every time I go to Michigan, I don't really explore because one, I either don't have the time, like I'm at a time limit. Mm-hmm. But that's mostly the majority. But like recently, I had like two, like a day and a half. But yeah. we really didn't explore like that. We just went to like some like the popular, you know, restaurants. Yeah, bro. You feel me? Well, hey, one of these days when you come back, bro, mm-hmm. I have where I work down the road. There's a buddies, the okay. same buddies that they have in Detroit. We could fucking go. And what is is that just a pizzeria? Yeah, it's a Detroit deep style. And you can oh, get your you can get however you want it. Like I the like the way I like it is extra stuffed. Mm-hmm. Like it it it's a bigger slice, like sticker. And mm-hmm. I like it with pepperoni, sausage, and bacon, bro. Oh, okay. You can get it however you want. It's fire, bro. That's like I think Buddy's is way better than like Little Caesars like Detroit though. Oh, okay. No, I way, don't know. I, think, I just, I don't know. I just, we compare, I compare <clears throat> here, Little Caesars over there with my girl. Not, yeah. And we're just saying Little Caesars over there is better. <laughs> <laughs> but I will um, say this pizza from Chicago deep dish and Detroit deep dish. Mm-hmm. What would you take, bro? Over. Which like, I would, your, like, like your Detroit style? Yeah. Over your. So here's what the thing because. Because we have a Jets here that that sells oh. Detroit style pizza, mm-hmm. and it's like the square, and they cut like you know the the big cuts. Yeah, yeah. So it depends. So, but I honestly don't like a lot of sauce on my deep dish. I agree with you. 
So, I agree with you, bro. I like so, I like more bread and cheese. Bro. Yes, yes. So, so a little bit more ask, seasoning on that shit. Yeah. Do, so do you ask for like light sauce on your deep dish? I actually ask for like medium and then oh, extra okay. cheese. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I, I tell him like, yeah, like load it, load it with cheese, bro. Nice. I'm gonna ask for loaded cheese now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so because good, I always bro. just tell them uh, light sauce because I don't really fuck with the sauce. <laughs> nah, bro. But when you get the Detroit like crust, bro, mm-hmm. that that burnt crust, that flat like this. Oh, yes, I know what you're talking about. That is about, the bro. best cr- that, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's the best crunch. But what I like about Chicago deep dish though, mm-hmm. it's the pizza, is this the sauce and then the cheese under. Do you have the? Do you do the butter crust on the? Yep. Yes. Always. Always. Nice. That's how you should do it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's fucking crazy. Oh, then here's one other thing, dude. Dude, I just I've been really meaning to tell you. Uh huh. You're like the I think the only Hispanic I've ever met in Michigan so far. <laughs> and, and as a bud tender too. Literally, like everywhere I go, it's either wider. That's or that's I I like that because I've gotten a lot of compliments. I like shout out to my coworkers, Dan, Liz. I know if you're watching, shout out to you guys. They're my managers. They're the best people. My I'm also blessed to work with the people that I work at with. Yeah, God, bro. Well, I mean, not, the like, best I, group of people. I, I'm not like trying to like you know be kind of, like I'm like trying to be bogus or anything, but I'm like, yeah, like, where the fuck is like la, la, la gente? You feel me? <laughs> I know, you know, it's like the only people that speak Espanol like mm-hmm. like tú y yo would be mm-hmm. Miguel and and me. I'm the only. I'm probably the only Boricua that works in the cannabis industry for Cloud, probably, because I've looked up on our group chat like hispanic people and there's not a lot it's just uh-huh. me miguel and a couple more people so i can speak both my languages bro Yo puedo hablar la, la, la idioma. Uh-huh. and i can it's it makes my job a lot easier and it actually gives Always. a custom and, and Always, for people who yeah. don't speak english that come into the dispensary bro they utilize me because i can help them give them the better experience and shit bro and you got in, you got in people like that though. Oh hell yeah, bro! There's a lot. Dominicans come in a lot. A lot of Dominicans come into the dispensary. A lot of Puerto Ricans. They fuck with me a lot, bro. Like but, they, but they. Where where is it? <laughs> or is, is it just because like one we don't exactly know where to be at, or or is yeah, it? Yeah, like my area. I live in Burton Heights. Okay. In Grand Rapids, that's black and Hispanic dominate dominant there. Uh-uh. If you're look, if you're going into downtown anywhere near Alger Heights and maybe Granville, you'll find your typical white people. But like, other than that, bro, if you're in that club where where you were at Cloud, you'll find a lot of you'll find Hispanics. You'll so like them. where okay, so like when I went to Detroit, I was by like the suburb Dearborn. De- oh yeah, Yo, so that was yeah. that was I think I'll complete I think just black. I yeah, think. and then I, one row. I went to Monroe. That's where okay. those quite a bit of Hispanics I've seen. And then um, when I went to Kalamazoo, it was just one day, but it yeah. was just like white people. But again, it was just because we just went to like just random dispensaries. We just wanted to yeah. just hit the heart of Kalamazoo. That was our second time. And then when we went to Grand Rapids, uh, we just where exactly did we stay by? I just re- remember we weren't like we were like twenty minutes away from Cloud. Okay, you so say. you did you stay more in downtown or outside of downtown? I'll say outside, I believe. Were you like, okay, were you near a mall at at, at one point? The outlet, the Tan- outlet mall, Tan- uh Tanger Outlet. I'm or... not sure. I forgot which outlet, but there's I think Tanger. Close... Tanger Outlets is. More towards it's like heading towards Kalamazoo almost. Um, where you were probably staying, what was it a Delta hotel? Was it? I believe so. It was next, it was like across from a gas station, (laughs) across from a gas station, and it was, it was, and it was close to the highway, and then it was close to and to like an exit that had two exits that was one. Heading to Lansing, or the other one was heading to. Oh, I know where you're staying. You I were staying what... more. You were you were staying more towards like east, no, south of Twenty Eighth Street. So you were, you were more towards like the Woodland Mall. I'm you not were... sure, bro. But I was. I, I know where you were. 
yeah, yeah like, I'm... you were probably saying in that area. Did you get to go to House of Dank in in that area? No, I cause I cause I went there, so I wanted to just go to just new dispensaries. I just wanted to check the explore, you know. Yeah, cause I know there's a quite there's a little bit of Hispanics that work there, and oh, for real? where you went as well. I know there were I know a few people that work there that are Hispanic. Uh, the, there's just when I went to, a, when I went to there actually the guy that um butt tended me was the head marketing guy, and I guess he was he's the one that runs the the social media account on Instagram for sure. Yeah, yeah, I forgot what was his name. I think Brian or Dan. Right. Oh, again, he was I, he was he's also in the vlog that that I posted. Um, I I seen, sure. yes. I know a few people, uh, Joey and Jadrian, good people though. I know they work for Oswald now, so they're pretty but, good people. But yeah, my guy. So, so what? What got you into the cannabis industry, though? Man, I smoke weed. That's what I do. I love, I love smoking weed. Mm -hmm. Uh, I myself, I have epilepsy. That's one thing that I uh smoke weed for. I may be medicated, like I have my medication. Thank God I'm I'm medicated. Is there a difference? I know it it's doesn't a question, but is there a difference literally? They so I still get so I get jitters sometimes while I'm still on medication. Uh huh. And I like to experiment with weed. And if I mean recreational, I mean I guess it helps. But when I take more edibles, <laughs> it controls me. As a recent, actually, I'm starting to take RSO now. Mm -hmm. You know what this shit tastes like, bro? Like distillate. So if you crack open a car and just drink it like straight up, oh, uh, it's like distillate, and it's like it's hard to chew almost. I'm but, sure it's like um, sticky to your, It gets sticky, right? I'm sure to yeah, you. Yeah, like, almost, um, yeah, yeah. Um, but I put this in. You put this in food, bro. Days RSO is probably the people that do it the best. And um, I was so high, bro. I even like. I had like three drops or four drops in like a nacho dip that my friend made. Mm -hmm. Bro, I was so gone in like 30 minutes, bro. I had, I almost had damn near visuals. I don't know if you've ever been that high. Nah. Bro. I, I, I've been, I, I was, I dreamed out. If I ever get too high, I feel like it's like where I just take a nap. You feel me? <laughs> that, that, nah, that's... bro. I was fucking par. I wasn't paranoid. I was uh -huh. like, I was feeling it in the face. I think the only time I ever felt paranoid was like my first time ever, and that was it. <laughs> the first time I got high was off of some Wana edibles, and I thought it was a good idea to take sixty milligrams instead of just you know cutting it in half. Mm -hmm. Bro, I went. Oh, my jaw! I couldn't eat. My jaw was like I could not control it. Because I, I, I literally mean, it, it felt was, heavy. <laughs> it was, so I it, I I remember. I think it was eating a donut or some shit like that from mm -hmm. Krispy Kreme. I was just, I couldn't move my lips properly and my throat was numb. <laughs> my face was numb. I was just, oh, I've never been so high. That's probably the highest I've been so far. Damn, other than, other than, well, it's hard to compare RSO to edibles, mm -hmm. but this shit gets you pretty fucking high. More but than edibles or like similar to edibles? More than I would say, you get those typical edibles that are like one piece is like two hundred milligrams. But if you take high doses of RSO, bro, you're fucking insane. I had what, like what, what what would you say like high doses? Two or three drops, bro, is equivalent to at least two hundred milligrams. At least I dropped at least like I said, two. Well, not two, three or four. That's like. <laughs> Damn, that's like 250, 300. How much is like RSO over there where you're at? Where I got this at the dispensary for me. Uh -huh. Regu without my discount, this would be 12 bucks, 13 after bad. tax. But for like bud tenders, they would mm -hmm. get 20% off. Right now, we got bought out, so we're going to get more of a discount. Right now, it's 20, so it would be uh $9 for me. So what do you mean, like bought out? So who who bought? So somebody bought Cloud or? Oh yeah, a whole new company. It's called Stash. So I actually have the beanie right over here. Here you go. This company right here, they bought us out and they own. I if I'm not mistaken, they are based in Indiana. Uh huh. 
but they bought out um different dispensaries. I think one of them is called Timber. And we're part of like uh their little company now. But I'm not gonna lie. The weed we had before mm-hmm. is not not as good to what we have now, bro. Cause so like I'm, from the from the day that I went over there till now, it's completely different. Different, bro. So different. But we have so right now the company that that we mainly get for weed is called High Minded Creations, and mm-hmm. they make edibles. So this is one of them right here. This is the Cadillac Rainbows, and this is the live resin version of them. These are pretty good. These are more like, I think your t- traditional nighttime edible almost. These are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, they don't taste like gelatin almost. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think they're gluten free, but they have edibles. Their flower is way better. They have apes in space. I don't know if you've smoked that strain before. No, but that's heavy, fire. heavy indica, heavy indica. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite strains. We've also brought uh, some Super Booth. That is a Sativa Dominant that we have. That's a diamond tier. And we have some RS11, too, that they have. That's some Ooh. pretty good shit. I don't know if you've had Rainbow Sherbet. Rainbow Sherbet 11? Yes, I yes. had before. We have some really good RS11. That's fire. We I, have know that, so I know you got that strains. color in that in that bitch right there. <laughs> I, can pro- I can probably name off most of the strains that we have in the diamond and platinum tier. Okay. But, bro, you have to come check it out. Like, one of them, like I said, Apes in Space, you have to try. Mm-hmm. Heavy Indica. Uh, What was another one that we got? Watermelon Punch is another great one that's in Platinum. And then, ooh, Donkey Butter. Oh, no, we haven't had Donkey Butter. Damn, there's so many fucking strains. Apes in Space is the one I've been selling the most, though. I'm sure because it sounds fire as fuck. Yeah, it it really is. It, it does, yeah. It's just, and then like, is it does it have some type of like color to it or? It's literally purple. I shit you not, bro. I actually yeah. bought. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like peanut butter, almost. Ooh, like really? a peanut butter souffle. I would have I would have thought a little gassy, like a little gassy, like taste smell hit it. to it. I had it off my rig, bro, and it tastes like peanut butter. Yeah, really? had like when you exhaled, it was like peanut butter. Oh wow! And the and also, we brought back that super lemon haze that we mm. haven't had that for a while. That was pretty good. That's just a classic strain right oh, there, you know. Yeah, you never go wrong with the classics. Have, oh, and lemon bars. That's another one that I forgot to mention. That's a heavy sativa. That's decent. I still have the cheetah piss that you gave me. Oh, that shit's really fucking good. I still have that bitch. We got some Seed Junkie back, too. I don't know if you know that company, Seed Junkie. They're almost like, uh, they're almost like cookies type of, the type of company. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, they're pretty good. They, we brought back some of their strains like, uh, Pineapple Fruits and shit like that. Uh, Red Eye is also another great one. That one's more of like a hybrid. No, I'm pretty fucking. Oh yeah. With like the I'm, fucking. I'm not gonna it. lie, bro. I'm fucking I'm fried ready, right now, bro. I'm ready to dab another one right now. You know now. what? Ooh, you say you. that. You're saying mm-hmm. that. I already have one loaded, bro. Damn. <laughs> I'm crazy. All right. You didn't even know about that. No, but... I was like, do I have one loaded? And I see that there's a shitload of wax in here, ready to go. So I know, like, based when we were talking, like, for the first time, you know, yeah. like Overall, I think you were mentioning of, of how your how how your family takes it as you butt tending but like how how is it you know especially coming from like the latino you know Aye, community bro. and stuff like that <laughs> so my mom is puerto rican uh-huh. they're the the feistiest people that you can meet my dad's dominican bro and oh, okay. when he and, and the dominicans people who are watching that can relate bro have you ever got whipped with the fucking wi-fi cable before <laughs> No, but I had a kid. A cable bro, the that's the type of energy I thought I was gonna get when if I applied for the job I I got. <laughs> I was I was shitting bricks, bro. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I had to build up the courage to apply because mm-hmm. I was coming out of a job that I worked at Chipotle before this. Okay. So I I worked a lot of food service. I had worked at McDonald's and Chipotle. Mm-hmm. Had a years of experience with that. So I had the confidence. I was like, if I can do customer service like that then I can really talk to people like that. Because I already I already 
have some cannabis knowledge, but not all of it. I know the differences between like rosin and resin and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But which, actually, I, uh, which actually, if you can answer that in a bit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know then, a lot of people who, who, who he's like, you know, what's the difference? And I'm like, mm, I don't know, buddy. Yeah. I, I don't want to say the wrong answer, you know. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but anyways, I can. Yeah. And then, um, when I bro, I remember the day. I told my mom I was going to apply. She mm-hmm. said, um, oh, if you apply, I'm literally going to kick you out the house. Like, she, word by word, bro. She was, and she was serious about it too, bro. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, she can't kick me out. I'm like, I'm her son, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I applied. <laughs> I, I was like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm your son. Come on now. So I applied and she had her, she had her doubts, you know, all our Hispanic people or parents, they, they want the best for us. That's, that's what they want. Yeah, for sure. No doubt. But when I applied, yeah. I mean, shit, I, I, it's going, it's still going good, bro. They had weekly pay. Uh, we got commission and tips, bro. We got to keep a hundred percent of it, bro. That's what's up. It, it, it was awesome. I was making bread, bro. I was able, I was actually able to buy my first car too. Oh, that's what's up. It's a Mercedes C350 from 2008. So I only paid like what five bands? Yeah, it's still decent, it was. It, it, you know? I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah, especially if you like, you know, where you're at and, and you enjoy your job, bro. Like, that's what's up. Like, yes, keep doing what you're doing, my guy. But like overall, yeah. like how your parents are they still like iffy about it or are they just kind of like no, bro? The they terms? you know <laughs> no they, um, as a recent, my mom she's been asking me for a lot of uh creams and and CBD and shit like that. So she's just kind of getting into it almost. But when she gets to that certain age where she's getting like bad, <laughs> you know, pain or whatever. I'll maybe just maybe have her try some edibles because she has she was tripping the last time I took her some. I'm gonna take a dab too, bro. Like 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 as in like mad trip it or no, more like just pissed off about it and I see you taking a dab. I'm gonna join you right there. Yeah. I'm actually gonna join you because <laughs> It looks like you're dying off that. <laughs> oh yeah. Fuck man, these fucking rigged glass rigs are just something else. Whoa. All right. Fuck. This is the dab episode, y'all. I'm gonna have to light up a fucking candle in this home studio. Oh shit! <laughs> with with this, I don't really have to. <laughs> oh, like, most definitely, I'm sure I have to. Yeah, no, hash rosin doesn't smell as bad as bud. Fuck this fucking dab, dude. I think I'm pretty decent for right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but dude, what the fuck were we talking about? Uh, uh, I was talking about live resin and shit like that. Oh yeah. So, anyways, what's the difference? So, with live resin, bro, you pretty much use like a like a solventless base technique. It's you don't use heat and pressure. Mm-hmm. But with with ha- like ro- like rosin like this, you do you do use heat and pressure. Like one person that I that I watch when it comes to shit like that is uh uh what was it again um I was gonna say your name who was it uh, um damn I gotta look up the YouTube video um it's he pretty much uh presses rosin for a living and he grows mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember his name he's Canadian. Oh uh, fuck. Let me look it up real quick. No, you good, you good. But uh pressing rosin. Oh, Mr. Canucks. Mr. Canucks, he I look up to him when it comes to like pressing rosin. He grows too. He has some really good grows. Mm-hmm. 
uh when it when it comes to pressing rosin bro mr canucks does it the best he's like he gets down to like all the information that you need about pressing rosin and he, i think he also covers um like tutorials on how to do it too oh shit my bad what's, what's up hell yeah Holy shit, I'm just high as fuck right now. <laughs> I am. I'm not going to lie. I am, I'm I'm going to keep going, bro. I'm starting to feel it. No, but yeah, I'm, I'm This good. is like, I think this is like my sixth. No, yeah, I, I hope. Keep keep tracking I'm, it. I, as I, we think go. I'm not, I think this is my fourth one. I know that. I think this is my fourth. Well, but, I'm going to take well, another one right here. Go ahead, my boy. Take one. Take <laughs> oh, one. yeah. Um... But okay, but that's what's up though. That that your mom is now like trying to I guess get into it yeah. by like DVD and these you know oils and and creams, and that's how kind of it 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 is on my end as well with my parents. Um, just to kind of didn't like the fact that I was getting <laughs> into cannabis and all, but I'm guessing as I kind of just kept telling them, just kind of like argumenting yeah. them like like you know. And so I finally told them that because I found out that there was gonna be this cannabis class out in in the college that I yeah that I graduated from. Mm -hmm. And Same then here. and then I took the class and all, and I got the certificate at the same time I graduated and all. And then I guess they kind of like <laughs> as I was in these classes and all, I guess they kind of started to realize, oh, never mind, you know, it's kind of getting a little more serious now than what it is. Yeah. And I still educate them, you know, like with new information and all. Yeah. Um, but overall, like my mom, like kind of does now do the same thing, too, with like CBD gummies, uh, mm -hmm. you know, creams and stuff like that. And of course, because now it's like I feel like with them is they're at the age where they don't want to, you know, know that they're smoking or yeah. something like that. You know, although an edible, I guess just knowing the fact that it's going to get you high, I guess she's still not iffy. Yeah. She's she's... Still iffy on that. Yeah. But when my mom finds out I do RSO, she's going to fucking freak out. She's going to be like, you're doing so many milligrams. What the fuck? <laughs> Man. And then, bro, I'm not even going to lie. She doesn't even know about the about this yet, bro. Damn. <laughs> no, us Hispanics, bro. Sometimes we have to hide a few things from, yeah, from our parents. Yeah, we do. <laughs> That's funny. No, mm. but it'd it be like that. My guy, it really be like that. Yeah. Um. But without within like how how long have you been working in the cannabis? Dude, industry? I've been yeah, I've been working for Cloud for about going eleven months. Funny thing is. Can you guess my hired my where the dad was hired? Four twenty. Your dad on. <laughs> yeah, I was I was originally hired at Cloud on four twenty, and I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was flexing that shit for a week, bro. That was such a flex. It was like you're working at a dispensary and your hire date was four twenty. That's also that's still flex. Hell, oh, I, think I don't that say would be too a flex often, for life. But... Yeah, I I just think about it. I was like, damn, I was hired at 420. But yeah, no, bro, I was I was I've been working here for a long, long time. At one point, we had a we had a squad of guys that I liked, but mm -hmm. they weren't the greatest workers. I'm not gonna lie. I guess guess what? I was let go the first month I was working there, right? Wait, where? At Cloud. Yeah. Wait, 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 really? So you? Yeah, I was I was let go my first month. What the and fuck? Damn, bro, I'm not gonna lie. My well, that for month, why though? If you can they say. Were, apparently they had too many people hired, and from what I heard, a lot of more people got let go uh -huh. because they were just cleaning staff, bro. That's what they were doing, bro. And man, I'm not gonna lie. That first month of me having no job was rough, like. I tried finding jobs and jobs and jobs. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't want two or two jobs wouldn't accept me. And one of them I'm gonna call out is Floresh. That's a that's a dispensary? Yes. Floresh, I tried applying and man, they when I went into the interview, mm -hmm. they they just came off as rude almost. And when I was telling them Like why 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 I, you say that? Like Cause I went to apply for a like nighttime girl, you know, to trim at nighttime almost. Mm -hmm. 
and I was explaining that I was working at a dispensary for a month, but I like, got let go due to like staffing issues or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. She just, I don't think she was buying it, bro. Almost. She just gave me that vibe that she just didn't want to continue hire me. with the vacate with the, yes, like kind of like let's let's end this shit kind of like yeah. She just wanted to end it quick. That's where like, I got the vibe. Like she asked you, like you have any questions? Yeah, that's pretty much. She was asking me and shit, bro. And the 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 only thing that I was I was not gonna lie, I was kind of heated at the end, mm-hmm. and she was just she told me it's like yeah, I just don't think you're qualified enough for the job. So bogus. I was just, I was like, fuck it. Okay. Let's look mm-hmm. for more jobs. And within a month, <clears throat> uh, JB, he is uh one of the people that works for cloud that hires people at the time. Mm-hmm. He personally called me and he wanted me back at the dispensary. Oh, that's what's up. And then I was like, man, I thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I was, I, I've never been more thankful in my life for them personally. For the person, like someone that runs the store, that personally called me for my number, he hired me back, and then, shit. I mean, I've been thriving ever since, bro. I've, I'm doing, I'm doing a lot better now. I'm, I'm blessed with the people that I work with. That's what's up. Oh yeah, you're in a good as environment and shit. Bro, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, bro. Because honestly, you, you will not find a better, more energetic staff than. Cloud Cannabis on 28th Street. I promise you that, bro. That I promise. You'll never find a more a dispensary more, more happier. More like us as employees, we love to do our job. Yeah. I've heard from the other other people that other people uh, like ascend sometimes. They just don't look like happy to be there. And sometimes they don't let you smell the weed. <laughs> let you what yeah, smell bro. the weed? No, that I went one time, and <laughs> like, they no. <laughs> they had the, they had these jars, uh-huh. but they had magnifying glass at the top so you can see like the trichomes and shit. I'm like, bro, I want to smell it, bro. And they said, no, you can't. No, and the time you yeah. went, bro, I gave you one of the best experiences, bro. I let you look at all the rosin and resin, yeah. all the flour we had. You you had a good selection and yes. shit, bro. That's yeah. the that's the look when it comes to customer service for me, bro. I I want to come off as what would I buy? And what's a good deal that I would buy? That's the type of that's the type of customer service I want to give everybody. For sure, yeah. Give Hell the yeah. right give the right product yes. and, and everything. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. Because at the at the end, one thing is a lot of bud tenders also. Um one thing with me is mm-hmm. something that I don't like about the cannabis industry too, is that some bud tenders lack knowledge. That's that's the only thing. That's like really the only issue with with that. A lot of bud tenders don't know some of their like typical, you know, like their standard or things or whatever. Like, yeah, that, that, although, that's like, pretty much. Don't get me wrong. Like although like so now I guess now I can now I can answer people and say that the difference is one is made with heat and pressure and the other one is not. Yep. But the uh, but but then again it's like what kind of eager is me is that for people who who have like i guess who've gone through the educational route and gotten like a certificate like for yourself yeah and yet it's still hard for one to still get into a job in the industry Mm -hmm. that you kind of you know study for it and all well i didn't go more for a certificate bro i was just learning i just wanted to learn Mm -hmm. But I then you still blind. have some type of background knowledge, you know? Yeah. And that's the thing. How you said, most of these butt tenders don't have that. Mm-hmm. At least you have yeah. knowledge, you know? And, I'm, that, and I guess, I'm happy for that. Right. Not that I guess you didn't get a certificate or not, but like I know like some people have and still either ha- are in it or are not. Yes. Again, it's like, I feel like it's, it's just tricky. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it, it shouldn't be like that, especially for the industry that, that we like to be in yeah even with my with the people that like i've trained to bro i've mm-hmm. told them the differences about like the shit i've said in in the podcast like the resin rosin like i let them know so that way they can also be informed and shit i even i even text them and send them videos about informational videos about weed and shit so they can at least learn more because i that's mr canucks is someone i look up to when it mm-hmm. comes to 
basic marijuana, um, you know, information. Mm-hmm. And so are my friends. I like they they know quite a bit. They're also growers. They I cannot wait to move out out because I just want to have my own grow. I just man. It's the cannabis industry is exciting, bro. It really it, is. It really is, but I feel like it, it. It's very exciting when you, you're in the right, community though. Yep. You know you can't you know be. Uh, how do I say like very energetic? Well, you can though, but the thing is, mm-hmm. the majority of the people, if you're not in the right community, is gonna just like try to bring you down or it's just gonna not feel try shitty, to, bro. Yeah, or not try to be in the right energy as you are trying to be. You feel me? Yep. Shit, the first, even the first three months, well, not the first three, the first five months I was working at Cloud, I got to Bud 10 Breakaway, bro. I never thought I would get that position, but to get, to be able to Bud 10 that, you have to do, you have to be the best at your job, mm-hmm. pretty much. They, they And they select a few people. They selected me, someone from Fulton in Grand Rapids, and then I think someone out in Kalamazoo. We all went to Breakaway. It was like a rave almost, bro. It was fucking crazy. We had our own stand. Oh, uh, so. I don't know if you go to my Instagram page, bro. You like we were we had this top of the hill view, mm-hmm. and you can see the whole rave, bro. The people looked like ants, bro. It was crazy. Oh shit! We were all smoking blunts, taking dabs at our station, bro. And just um, chilling we were just, bed, right? Yeah, we were handing out merch and shit, bro. It was it was awesome. It was awesome. And right behind us was the Silent Forest, too, which is also kind of cool. Oh, <laughs> that was some creepy shit. <laughs> yeah, the Silent Forest is where you have headphones and the oh. music is playing. Oh, but okay, okay. the area is quiet. So you just people hear people go. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, because like, they got yeah. the headphones. That's pretty yep. cool. I would love to be. And the DJs do it, too. The DJs have, have everything connected to the headphones. So oh, okay. literally, it, they, it just sounds like they're just. Yeah, whatever they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, all exactly. the music is in the headphones. That's what's crazy. That's what's up. Dude. I really want to do that shit. I think I'm gonna be there this this year too because I know they're gonna be coming in August. Mm-hmm. And if um, I think the uh, hopefully they select me to go because I've t- I've spoken to my manager about it. I was like, yeah, bro, we have to we have to go. It's oh, too yeah. fun, bro. It's like I've ne- it was my first one. I've never been to a rave. Uh, and it was I'm really with all that fun. EDM music and shit. Oh yeah, my god, there were some bangers, bro. I like bangers that didn't even know existed, bro. So I, I I've been listening to them still. I'm not even gonna lie. That's what's up. Experience yeah. new shit. That's what's up, my guy. Yep. Again, I think it's just again, it's just gotta be at the right community, the right in the right space for you, man. Yeah, and I'm right now, bro. Really, <laughs> I'm. I love my job. That yeah, so that's I, I just love my job. I absolutely love my job. I thrive to do better every day, really. That's what do I try you, to do. Do you have a goal for yourself within the industry? Like, do you what the attempt to do something other than just butt tending? Shit, right now, I'm just trying to pay off my car. And once I can get my license all settled and shit, mm-hmm. I want to be a manager and for and want to get more experience. That's pretty much. And mm-hmm. with that. I just want, I I just want to be the best manager I could be, pretty much. And that way, within like four years' time, maybe I can just move up the ranks in the cannabis industry because I want to be up there. Sure, sure. I, I just but want, like, I just, yeah, I want to be, I want to do my <laughs> own thing and shit too. And how about like for the long run? Long yeah, run, bro. Yeah, like you ever thought of that? Like, cause I'm Man. sure, like over there in Michigan, I think it's very possible, especially yes. like if you're in the industry already. Yeah, so I have some friends. We have ideas and shit, bro. Like, we want to have our own little company of, like, cannabis, too. Like, we want to almost have, um, not like like a, like a deli-style dispensary, almost, but we want to have a place where we can, you can come in and bring mm-hmm. your own weed and smoke. And then we also sell shit, like rosin and good bud, pretty much. So like a dis- dispensary lounge, you can say. Pretty much, but I don't know. I I don't know if it's it's possible in the state of Michigan because the it's it's we have like a free for all when it comes to weed, but mm-hmm. not really. Because what do you mean the, like on, a free for all though? Because when it comes to weed, we have like good prices and we have the the good shit, 
Mm-hmm. But we own we don't there's not a lot of places in Michigan that have lounges that where you can smoke and buy and do shit like that too. Cause right now they just opened up a not a dispensary, it's a clothing store for like mint and extracts and shit like that. I really want to go that to go to there. It's in Romeo, Michigan too. Mm-hmm. Um they just opened it too, so I really want to get some clothing stuff from there. I and they think, have, I think I seen it off our boy Chef P's. Yes, Instagram. Yeah. Shout, shit, out Chef, yeah. shout out to Chef P. He, yeah, shout out to Chef I P. I seen it on his Instagram. He was there. <laughs> I seen that, that's uh, a clothing Ryan. store. Ryan was the DJ there. I fucking love Ryan. That's a, that's a clothing people. store. You said. Uh, I seen that. I I think they had. I know they have merch, and it. I think it's also like a dispensary. If I'm oh, not mistaken, good. I have to go visit it. Okay. I have to double check. That sounds too. pretty dope, though. Yeah, bro, it's called Dispo. I think that shit's yeah. fire. It sounds fire for real. It's yeah. a big ass building too, bro. So they put a lot of money and effort into this. So you guys are really far ahead then in Michigan for I yeah, for, bro. For I mean, I mean, I, be I, all I, like I, this. Yeah, I'm really excited for what Mitten Extracts is doing, bro. Like they're doing their own thing, bro. I think they're doing it the best, honestly, bro. Like they're like north coast level type of success like they're doing really good with what they're doing that's decent that's what's up i, I really do fun yeah. with their products like i i just did a, a like a review a five cart review yeah uh and that shit was fire like i was high as fuck like <laughs> at the end of the review it, oh yeah like, like <laughs> did you get a minute extracts in that video i have to watch it yeah they were all mid and extracts carts oh which ones were they they were the pound London pound cake. Nice. The was it the gel the gelonade? Gelonade, yep. Yeah, gelonade. Uh which was the other one? Uh the grunts. Grunts, yep. That grunts, grunts is one of my favorite ones. Uh, um, which Did one? you get the bubble kush? That's a really nice indica. No. Another one on. was the ghost biscotti. No, not that one either. No, it was uh Blue it Skittles. Was the, the thin mint. Cookie. Thin mint cookies. I, I didn't like that one. That one was like it was minty, was it? It was very Almost. minty for me. Yeah. Oh, and the watermelon suns. Watermelon go. suns. Oh, one, all right. Yeah, one of my favorite ones is the white runs and the Tropicana cookies. Tropicana okay. cookies is like my favorite sativa though. Not but out of all of those five that I tried, my favorite one was the London pound cake. Yeah, that was the I think the highest testing too. I was like eighty five percent. In, yeah, it was like THC. 87, 80 something like, like that. Yeah, and had a lot of cannabinoids. Yeah, my guy. So I was like, fuck, I was very big at the end of that review. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, so like other than just broadcasting, like we we really tried to expand ourselves, you know, mm-hmm. within just doing some vlogs, reviews. Yeah, honestly, bro, I really haven't gotten into content because I don't have like an expensive camera. I don't have a fa- anything fancy, but I really do want to get into that. So sooner or later, um, Shit, you might see me start doing shit like that. Oh, yeah, for sure, my boy. And then you, oh, yeah. it says you pop out in Chicago and she should let me know next time you. Oh, around. yeah. Oh, dude, I can I'll take an Amtrak like, over there, bro. Fucking link up and shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, I smoke I'll some bring... some bud here, review it, bring some bud. Yeah, I'll, there. Actually, I'll actually bring some deli style and dispensary. Then, and, then, and then eat some some Chicago peak. So, ooh, hell oh, yeah. bro. let's go, my boy. Let's do it. Outside. I'll be down. I'll be down because I'm not. Uh, I'm. I know I'm gonna be heading to Texas sooner or later in the summer. Mm-hmm. But shit, you let me know, bro. I'll be down to slide to Chicago. Hell For yeah. Sure. So that that's what's up, my boy. Hell yeah. Fucking down. So I know that you you like to travel. Is that Fuck, is that a yes. thing? Yes, I love to travel. Have you where where have you gone to? Well, um, Boricua. I I've been to Puerto Rico several times. I was born there. Um, okay. what part? Fuck, I was born in Rio Piedras, so a little bit more down below San Juan, not in the city, but like kind of outside. Okay. Um, but I mainly grew up. In Toa Baja, which is a little bit um, where is that? I think I'm not good with directions, bro. Like I probably west, a little bit west of San Juan, and uh, shit. I lived there for about four years. Yeah, bro. And then I moved, but I really, really want to go back. I just, uh oh, I miss, I miss the heat. I miss the dry heat. So ever since, ever since you were, I guess, a kid. You 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 moved and then you just have been visiting ever since. Yeah, pretty much, bro. But uh, your family's down there. Almost everyone, 
Yeah, I really want to go to the Dominican Republic though. I haven't been there. Okay. It's people it's almost like the the people are the same vibe as Puerto Ricans, bro. We 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 mix the same, bro. We're the same. We're literally the same people. Another place that I also want to visit, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm already going to Texas, but I'm already I want to go Is to Texas. Is this Colorado. your first time going to Texas? No, I want to go, but it's my second time. Where you, where, where are you going? Houston. I'm going to where? Houston this time. I went to San Antonio last time. Did you like it? Bro, the river walk was crazy. Did you like I got, the I got, Yeah, bro, I got I got so drunk over there. <laughs> that river walk margaritas are dangerous. This guy. <laughs> I've only they, gotten to San, San Antonio once. <laughs> Bro, they have these big ass margarita tubes that are like this, and they're plastic, and you have a big ass straw. Mm-hmm. Bro, I downed that thing, dude, and it was like, it said it was like what, ten percent alcohol. My ass. Yeah. No, bro, it was. It felt way stronger than what it was. It was so fun though. It, I had a great blast. You have you been to San Antonio? Yeah, only once. But when I was a kid, that was only. But I, I lived in Texas out out in Texas for a little bit though. Oh, well, that's what's up. I would go back, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, shit, I, I keep, love San Antonio. Yeah, hey, I keep telling uh, my girl to head back to Texas, man. Bro, I'm not down brisket. with the Chicago. Yo, here, no, man. no, no. Get the go. Get some brisket, bro. You need to treat yourself. That shit's fire. <laughs> I I really do miss out there, Texas. Have though. you been to Bucky's yet, or have you not? Cause mm. I had I I went to Bucky's once, bro. Uh huh. I ate their brisket sandwich, bro. I came out with like seven of them fuckers, bro. No, here's the thing. When I went, bro, this is like twenty, like twelve, like twenty, like twenty eleven type shit. So I was a kid, you know. Mm-hmm. I haven't been to Texas ever since. Probably went back in like two, no, I say like four years. Ever four years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was. But, oh, you I want to go now, bro. As a, go no, now. I'm going. Like, I'm gonna be over there soon. Probably like July or June. And you say you're I'm going still... to H Town now? Yeah, I want to go to H Town and. That's probably go up. back. I'm probably gonna go back to San Antonio. I'm not gonna lie. I got I got some homies I really want to go back to. You got people out there, or you just? Oh yeah, like... some just like like close friends, like really close friends. Actually, one, uh, one of them, he's a father now. Shit, mm-hmm. I, he doesn't, he doesn't. I'm always on, you know, on a call with him and shit. He doesn't hop on as much, but yeah, I've been keeping up with him. So I, I just want to go back and see friends. And mainly, I'm not gonna lie, the food. It's the, I just the fucking food is like different to what we have. Yeah, I'm sure. It's not, and then I, you like the Tex Mex style? Oh, don't even get me started on the brisket, bro. I think that's my favorite meat now. I'm not gonna lie. I could. I eat like pounds brisket of that. too. I could eat pounds of that shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But do you but, like how? Do you like how they mix it though? The Tex Mex style to the food? Like, yeah. Oh hell yeah, bro. I fuck with Mexicans and the like, the Mexican food culture, bro. Like anything. I like down the street. They have a uh like a Tex Mex style restaurant, and mm. they have these um the quesadillas. It's a quesadilla mm. with yeah. bigger meat. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god, I oh, that's fire. What the cost of it, bro? It's so good. I need yeah. to go, but I want the authentic shit out in Texas. Yeah. I I feel like Texas food isn't like out there. Mexican is. I feel like it's hard to find a real Mexican restaurant because there's a lot of Tex Mex out there. Yeah. You yeah, know, but well, coming but coming like from a Mexican <laughs> guy, like yeah, I feel like here in Chicago there's a shit ton of good Mexican restaurants here. Oh yeah, better than out in Texas, but there's some fire as Puerto Rican and Dominican restaurants out there too. I was there for a couple times too. Have you? Yeah, if you come back, you got have you uh, have you tried Hibaritos? Hibar- I think that was the place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was that's like yeah, it's, a, it's like Dominican big... though. Huh? It's it's more. I think it's Dominican based food, right? No, that's Puerto Rican food. Okay, no, I was thinking. Okay, yeah, no, I have. I think I have been to that one. I have to double check. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's a that's a big uh Puerto Rican spot here. Oh, bro, it's fire, bro. Oh man, <laughs> that's just fire. I ain't gonna lie. It's been a minute since I fucking try some Puerto Rican. Food. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna load up one more dab because I'm already fried as it is, bro. What what other uh places have you traveled to? Shit, uh, New York. New York was fantastic. Okay, I loved. I was in uh in Times Square. I was on the Red Steps. I don't know if you know where that is actually, but um, is that like in the middle of Times Square? Yeah, it's almost in the middle of like Times Square. 
I'm not sure. I was if, if a Spider Man. Is it, was that like a Spider Man scene from the Amazing? I'm Spider-Man? not gonna lie. I think there was. I think there was a scene. There's. It's. There was that. Those steps uh-huh. already have been in multiple movies. I have to double check because I know. I know there's a couple movies with those with the red steps on them. Yeah, hold on. Let me check real quick. One second. No, it, but yeah. So, but uh, well, I think just it's like made the, out of glass just the, too. Just the the main part of of New York you just been to. Yeah, I. But when I when I grew when I was growing up, I lived in like more of New Jersey. I don't remember quite the part. I think it was like Newark around that area. Mm-hmm. But I, I know we were like not too far from New York because we we visited New York quite often. But man, New York, bro, ha- New York pizza is pretty fire, though. I am not gonna lie. I'm sorry. What was that? There's some New York pizza that's pretty fucking fire out there too. Joe's pizza, the, the, the is New probably York the best style fire. pizza. Yeah, bro. If you ever get the chance to go to New York, go because oh. they got some pretty good damn pizza. I just love pizza, bro. I'm a pizza fiend. I love pizza too, dude. Hold if on, you hate eat. pizza, bro, there's like there's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> Funny as hell. Uh, hmm. I already downed two water bottles. God damn. Ah, uh, look, my guy. It's this part right here. Hold on. Yeah, that's like the area, I think. Look, look, yeah, there, like, hey, there it is. Yeah, yeah. I told you. I told you. Yeah, uh, yeah, the red steps. Yep. Yeah, this, yeah, it's right there. Oh, wow. That scene is fucking crazy, too. You a Spider-Man fan? Oh, bro, you should see. I I, I need to look for pictures because I was a big Spider-Man kid. As a kid, bro, I used to jump around the fucking house in a suit. Dang, bro. I used to be like, hey, Spider-Man, mommy, mira, watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. man, I love my childhood. <laughs> yeah, I grew up I grew up around, like, Spider-Man. That's, that was my hero. Hell yeah, bro. I actually got a Spider-Man tattoo on my, right here, like, on my right here, arm right here. Oh, nice. Yeah. I got to get a tattoo. I want one really um, bad, but I want... I want like a half sleeve commemorated to Puerto Rico. Oh uh, no, my actually my goal is to get sleeves too, but you know I gotta that work on ex- this. Oh, that shit's expensive though. I gotta, it is. Oh, it is. I gotta, you gotta save up like thousands and shit. But my thing is, is everything like I don't know, like I'm trying to make one arm like like whatever characters, whatever you know, yeah, whatever, and then the other one's like really have it thick, almost whatever. have it like a comic book almost. Day. Kind so of, be yeah, sick. yeah, and then like one have like a deep storytelling or some shit like that, you know. Yep. Fucking art, love that shit, man. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, nah, yeah, that's what's up, bro. Other than oh, yeah. then, I guess other than the states, have you been outside of the country other than again like, Puerto Rico? Mm. Not really, bro. I one place that I really want to go mm-hmm. and travel is gonna be like Amsterdam. Oh, I always go there. yes, I would love I, to. Go I there. really want to try because the Snickerdoodle. I'm not gonna lie, is my favorite cookie, bro. Uh-huh. And I know you can get them authentic out there. Oh yeah, out there, yes. Other than that, bro, I want to go to Jamaica too. I like the I like the vibe out there. I oh, want to yeah. go. I, I just want to go anywhere that accepts weed and shit. <laughs> I think that's you're that's not the only my person. goal. Yeah, I want. I, I just want to go to anybody that has weed. Like, give it to me, brother. Come on. <laughs> my god was like, dude, dude, you just, dude, are you gonna go anywhere else? That what if somewhere that I want to go doesn't accept weed? What are you gonna do? I'm like, shit. Well, you can go on your own. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you can go on your own, bro. Uh, I'm already here going. taking shit. dabs and shit. It was already it was already risky <laughs> trying to sneak a disposable into Texas, bro. For real? That shit was oh man, I could have gotten a fucking felony, bro. That's scary. How how where did you have your disposable? Like on the carry on or yeah, or it, was, like... it it was in my bag. It was just I had a big singular bag with clothes in it and shit. Uh huh. Because it was a travel bag with like you know like it's almost backpack style, but you have the arm like the little thing to bring it up and shit. Yeah. I had one of those big ass bags, and I had it at the very bottom of everything. And it ringed. No, no, it didn't ring at all. Oh, so it, it, it was, was in the, the box. It was in the box and everything, bro. 
So then what was the trouble? Shit. Fear? Shit. I would I was, oh, I was I so scared, I, bro. I, I thought you almost, you know, the thing <laughs> nah, ring and they were looking through your bag and shit. <laughs> they're, like, no, they're they're really strict on on weed over there, bro. Uh-huh. No, hell like, yeah, I, I'm sure. But the thing is, I, I think they're only med- they're only uh medical right now now. Yeah, so the thing was over there, my friend already had weed when I was going to go over there. Uh-huh. Right? I was bringing a disposable, just real weed, because he had, like, Delta 9, shit like that. Shit was, like, okay, but uh-huh. I prefer to smoke the real shit. And so he was, like, the plug, you can say? Almost, yeah. Okay, uh-huh. But, uh, yeah, that, sh- that shit was scary on its own. Trying to bring weed into Texas, oh, not a good idea. Whoever... Has that idea? Don't even go then. Don't even try and sneak shit in there. No, hell no. We mm. don't uh console. Uh, you I don't know. even think they'll ever. I don't, bro. I don't even think they'll ever try to get weed legal. People are. I mean, people already grow their own out there. Yeah, I would just assume make it legal, right? Right. I mean, uh, I mean sh- and then, I can make carry ons with no license. Yeah. So why can they not just make weed legal? Bro, we own their guns. And then, I think they're already trying to be their own country. I think, if I'm not Dude, mistaken, really? Yeah, from what I heard, they're trying to like separate from the United States, bro. It's weird. Well, how you, how did you hear about that? Here, let me look it up. Actually, that's crazy because my co uh, my coworker was telling me about. It. I had to look it up. That's crazy because uh, we were. I was also talking about uh, on the other show with uh, the other guy, with another guy, um, that I guess, did you see the trailer of the movie called Civ- Civil War? Civil, Civil War? War? Yeah. I think so. So apparently that trailer, uh, it shows that it's Texas and California that's going against the rest of the United States. What? Yeah. You gotta that's look crazy. At that I, okay. I need to watch that. Oh, right here. In March of 2023, straight state representative Brian Slatton introduced a bill that would add a referendum in, on independence of the 2024 U.S. election ballot. You want to send me that link real quick? Yes. I literally looked it up on Google. What, <laughs> what did you look up? <laughs> Texas trying to separate from U.S. And I know that they had that in mind for a while. And Brian oh, Slatton's weird. He wouldn't, He doesn't want to legalize weed at all. It's crazy. I mean, and they have, I'm not going to lie, they have the money to do it. Yeah, but like, then again, why are they going to do that? I don't know. They're, if they do their own thing, then oh, yeah. they're going to run out of money soon. And I don't think can Texas can. That's what I'm saying. I was thinking about it. Because they're literally in the U.S. Where are you going to go? Like, are you going to, like, move Texas somewhere else? This, like, okay, well, it says, again, like you said, in March 2023, the representative introduced a bill that would end up referring to the independence. Of some... Shouldn't be filed out. In yeah, bro. In November of the... 2023, the Texas Nationalist Movement claimed that they'd collect enough signatures on their pension to include the question in on sex section on the ballot in 2024. Yeah, so they're quite literally trying to separate from the U.S. They just didn't have enough people to to, to vote it. on it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, bro, but I don't think it's ever going to happen because, like, but then like, no, because it's it's connected to the borderline. Yeah, I mean, literally, like literally. Bro. So what? What are they gonna? What What are you gonna do with Mexico then? How's Mexico gonna? Bro, how's... <laughs> If they now they gotta go cross over two borders. Ima- imagine if Texas. <laughs> imagine if Texas merges with Mexico, and then it's just the U.S. with no Texas. What the fuck is it gonna look like? Well, apparently, it, apparently, before I guess they made the whole states. If you think about it, I guess uh, part of Texas and I think California. Yeah. Or part of California is supposed to be connected to Mexico. Yeah. So uh, I I don't know I I think 
we just won territory against our our people. So pretty yeah. much, bro. We we pretty much won territory against them. Yeah, <sighs> whatever. I mean, hey, at least we won <laughs> our territory, though. Yep. <laughs> and I don't think Texas will ever like separate, bro. It, it's just I don't know. They can't literally. No, but for real, watch that trailer. It's called Civil War, and it's gonna tr- drop on drop in spring. Civil War trailer. Yeah. But I'm definitely pulling it up. Oh, this, it's in its what war? Yeah. Oh, oh you know what? Uh, you want to watch it? it. Wait, let me pull it up here. Hold on. I got you. It's just not going to be no audio. Sorry. Sorry about that shit. No, that's good, bro. I'll put the fucking. And apparently this movie's coming out before the election day. There you go. And I just kind of realized that that the uh, the blonde chick is uh Mary Jane. Is that Pedro Pascal? I think he I think that is Pedro Pascal, but I think the but the the white girl I think is uh Mary Jane. Her, the, the photographer. That's one hell of a name, though. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, that looks... Yeah, no, this is different, bro. Oh, bro. Did, did, did what? Yeah. When does this come out again? It's supposed to come out in spring. Oh, in April 12th. Oh, the 12th of April? Okay, yeah. but I'm watching this. This looks nice. I like it. So far, it looks pretty intense, right? Yeah, I like, I like the, I like the, like the scenes and shit already, bro. Holy shit! It is Mary Jane. <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck are those glasses too? <laughs> what kind of question is that though? <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, this movie looks fucking crazy. Bro, what? That's that's just something. Else. Imagine actually that coming true though. It's possible, bro. I mean, just anything. Imagine. I mean, if that's possible, anything is possible, bro. I mean, Texas and and in California, bro. They're the representatives. I mean, they do questionable decisions sometimes. Mm-hmm. But that's pretty fucked up because yeah. like. I feel like that's another type of movie that it could be like a little realistic. Like, uh, have you ever seen the movie uh, "Leave the World Behind"? Leave this world behind. It's on yes. Netflix. Yep. Like another, that's kind of like real realistic. Cause one, Obama is like kind of like behind the, you know the scenes of this movie. But again, it's just very. It could be another movie that's could be very predictable. So I don't know. That's it's just very crazy that yeah. why these movies are coming out at these certain different times of. Of I'm time of life, you feel me? Yes, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and rewatch that movie because that's kind of it's kind of reminded me of this. This movie kind of reminded me of that one too. I'm, I'm definitely gonna re- have to rewatch that. Yeah, that, that's a good movie though. It is a very good movie. Um, but that, that's crazy, bro. Um, it is. It but is. but uh, going going back to like you know your. Like like just traveling in general, my guy, mm-hmm. um, and especially just knowing that on on just that you're you're just from a different culture and all. Do mm-hmm. do you any you have any like mythology mythology out there? Like, do you know of? Oh, like mythology. Yeah, mythology. There you go, mythology. Bro, I was literally, literally, I was, 
thinking about Pocahontas the other day. Uh-huh. I haven't really looked up into mythology, bro. Well, I, why, 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 why Pocahontas, though? <laughs> I don't know. I was that. I was really fucking high. And we were, my sisters were just Poca- watching Pocahontas. And I was like, hmm. I was just really fucking fried that day. I am not going to lie. I I have we I just have really high moments like really stupid moments. Yeah, like 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 name one. Ooh, one time, oh my gosh! Okay, this I remember. Bay, like I remember every single detail. I was going to go sesh with a friend of mine. Her name is Laura, and I have a homie Raymond and Jesse. They tagged along, right? We that day we had went to go buy some bud, but not from a dispensary. This was like before I was a bud tender. Mm. We we went to go pick up at this like house or whatever. And it was it was some fire bud. I got to smell it and shit. And Laura had mentioned she had she had to go get some shit from her house. So we drove back and where she had parked was right under the sun and we had the weed in the dashboard. Mm-hmm. And we were sitting in the car for a good 15 minutes. It was getting hot. Bro, she, she had her dogs on our lap. We had the dogs in front of us, too. We were in the back. Jesse was in the passenger seat. And it was getting so hot in the car, it started to heat up the bud. And slowly, all of us started getting really, really, really high. And it was like... Because it so, was like I literally think it, hype. Yeah, it was hot literally boxing. hot boxing with out sparking up the bud i think it was the trichomes that was heating up too yeah it's in the plastic it bag. oh my god i think it was and i knew it was sativa because it was hitting me in my face the time by the time laura came back uh-huh. we were all hysterically laughing in the car that was like, just because of, that was just of the just you guys just, just waiting there right yeah just the waiting there just and then on our and then as we leave to ta- we went to go get some taco bell after mm-hmm. And as we order, I'm just hysterically laughing. I just cannot stop laughing. Like, if you ever, like, leave weed on the dashboard on a hot day, don't do that, bro. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. You won't be I'm able to, you won't be able to drive. <laughs> you won't be able to drive. Dude, I remember when I was uh, just kind of recently, I guess, not recently, but I was, like, I guess mid. Because, like, I guess I grew my tolerance high, but, like. Yeah. I was still kind of like, I say just barely, not barely, I say mid, yeah, I was a mid smoker still, but I was high as fuck that day, and I was in Popeye's, and I don't know why we decided to go and eat inside, (laughs) so I was on my phone, and my my girl was ordering, and then I was going to order my food, but I was looking at my phone, and then I just look up at the dude, and just by the dude looking, telling me like, "How is there anything I can get you?" And just by looking oh at his face, God. dude, all hysterical, I burst it out laughing, and I'm like, "I'm so sorry." <laughs> <laughs> but the only reason was because like, do you ever like, I guess look at somebody it makes you, and you like just for a brief second, you think you saw the person you knew, yeah, like, for a long time, yep. Do and you, you were, uh, and it's like that one person you remember that used to do stupid shit back then, bro. bro. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. I had that happen to me at McDonald's, bro. <laughs> I thought it was a former employee. I was, uh, I was like, "Are you?" I stood there for a second, mm-hmm. and I'm like, "Oh wait, no, never mind." <laughs> and then and, yeah, I just started bursting laughing. Like everybody just looked at me. I'm like, "Fuck, what the fuck." <laughs> <laughs> But he was oh, laughing fuck. too, which made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He was just trying to go along with it. <laughs> I can't when I'm out with my homies, fried bro. I just cannot when I'm ordering food in public. I cannot be looking at them because that will send me like hysterically laughing, bro. For real, you can't look at people when you're no, high. No, no, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I like if I know I'm high and I look someone at my homie like. I know he's high, and we just look at each other. We're just gonna start dying, bro. Here's what I noticed with my group of friends: is uh, we all look at the menu down, and then we. What I noticed is that I guess one by one we just turn to the waitress. 
while the other ones just look down or one look at the phone. Oh my god, that's literally that's what I. I noticed. think she'll know though, cause your head's will be down and you just don't want to look at her. Probably, yeah. Yeah, at the same like, time, if you reek, you reek, like, you know. So you're just a shell. You're just a shell of yourself. It's like don't. Look you're just at a me. shame of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> I'm high. No. <laughs> Bro, I don't know if you knew this, but if you drink, I, did you? I don't know if you knew, but. Orange juice and mangoes have trichomes or uh, uh -huh. terpenes. Uh huh. Yeah, terpenes. Well, and yes, it, I I I found out that some fruits do have terpenes. Yes. Yeah, bro. If you, I I drink a shit ton of orange juice and somehow I don't know, I just felt higher. I don't know if just if it's a thought, but uh -huh. it's also it could be a thing. So actually, uh, just because you speak on that, shout out to my uh to my guy. Uh, his name is uh. Well, well, the brand is called Pios. Um, so he he, I made a review on it too, and and he came in a pod. Yeah. And um, he fucking uh sells. Well, he's the CEO of um Pios, and and they're like a fruit wrap. So Ooh. so instead of like I guess hemp wraps and shit, it's all fruits, and it's real fruit. Oh, what? You gotta check them out. Bro. Fuck, it, I need to roll you, up with that. Need to check them out. Uh, hold on. Because I know they make like, like rose. They make Austin, like rose palms. Boy, Austin, there you go. Austin, hell yeah, yeah bro. So shout it, out to him, bro. I'll definitely check it out. Does it? Is there like a website I can check out too? Yeah, hold on. Let me, I'm Fuck gonna, yeah. Check it out right now. Hold on. Talking about getting high, I'm gonna take another dab. I think I lost count. Give me a second. Oh my god, I'm so high, bro. All right, cheers, brother. Cheers, cheers. Uh, I'll probably smoke right now and take a dab in the, in the bed. Mm -hmm. All I know is I, I'm just getting the munchies. <laughs> so I cloaky can't wait to munch and crunch after the pod. <laughs> Me too. I'm not. I'm probably going to order Chick-fil-A or something. Oh, uh, for real? Oh, I got some fucking food from the crib. Some leftovers. Carnita. Oh. Some leftovers. Fucking, um, what's it called? Uh, give me a second. Carnitas, uh, some pizza, some shrimp. Ooh. Oh man, that sounds so good. Dude, I'm ready to fuck Bro. munch and crunch, yo. <laughs> I. <laughs> Anyways, look, 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 okay. So this is my guy's page again. Shout out to my boy Austin. Fruit peels, hell yeah. Fruit peels, yeah, yeah. And as you can see, look, look, kind of I did some. Bomb. Hell yeah. Look, there you go, there you go. I'm telling you, bro. But anyway, look, look. This is his website right here. Right here, but yeah, there you go. Tell y'all, you gotta try these, bro. Oh hell yeah, bro! Fuck, they look my, really good. My favorite is the raspberry and the blackberry, but they all taste like literally like 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 candy. Like spot on. But shh, and they slow burning too, bro. Ooh, okay. Fuck yeah! So I'll definitely have. To... Dude, I'm definitely have to check them out. Check them out, bro. If y'all y'all out there, y'all listen. Fruit peels, right? Fruit peels, yeah, yeah. Let me follow right to, now. If y'all trying to like uh, you know, get on some healthy shit while you smoking and getting some little extra high, like how we just mentioned with some terpenes on some fruits with some greens on there. There we go, brother. Went ahead and followed. Hell yeah. There you go, my boy. Oh yeah. But definitely I'll check them out. Hell yeah. Yeah, so see see if you could try to put him on on some Michigan shit right here. Some oh, well. Michigan action right there. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm definitely gonna try it with some of the deli flour at the dispensary. Oh yeah. We got we gotta link up, bro. We gotta link up and do it. Bro, this, we need bitch. to. For sure. <laughs> Hell yes. Get some some Chicago peaks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, bro, you're already making me hungry talking about the pizza too. Oh yeah. But uh we actually gonna low key. Let's go back to the Super Bowl, bro. What you thought about the halftime though? It was a great performance. Alicia Keys, Alicia, the, yeah. yes, Usher did great. Alicia Keys did great. Lil John surprised me. Really, he was surprised me. Yeah, with Ludacris. yes, Ludacris too, bro. Ludacris. That was a that was a great halftime show. Funny thing was, I had my boss Alyssa. Uh -huh. It it was so slow that the day of the Super Bowl, I just I I tossed it on the game the whole time at work, and I had Alyssa of course hogged my phone mm -hmm. just to watch her. 
her, her, her favorite performer or whatever. <laughs> but it was, yeah, bro, it was a really good performance, bro. It was, it was awesome. I fucks with it. Uh, yeah. I, I did. I, I think he did good. I just kind of like the fact that all these little little bitches out there were waiting on Justin Bieber to yeah. pop out when he yeah. did it. And I was like, ah, he did it. Yeah. So goofy asses. <laughs> 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 Talking about when he going to pop out. No, he ain't. He won't. No. Shut the fuck down. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's just football. We got to ready. I, I'm not going to lie. I was, I was singing to some of the music, too. I'm like, baby, yeah, I, yeah. He got me on a couple. That's of songs. it. Yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a good performance. Well, we'll see who's gonna be the next one, man. I, I, everybody's saying Little Wayne's gonna pop out on the next one. Oh yes. Just you got any predictions? In... You got any predictions for like the next year's Super Bowl? Oh my God, that's too early, bro. Oh. Let's do it right now, bro. It's early in the morning. It's huh? the day after the Super Bowl, uh, and we're already uh, picking the predictions of the next man. one. Oh my God! I call. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I feel like if the Lions were able, again, if the Lions were able to beat the Chiefs, mm-hmm. bro, they can make it to the Super Bowl at least. I I could and give you. Pro- I could I could probably give you the probably semis. Probably semis for you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I really want the Lions to win, bro. We got a really good. You guys do get. You guys do have a good, good ass team. I'm not gonna lie, you know. But, but again, had, you guys, you guys fucked up on on that game with the 49ers. Yeah, I'm you not gonna lie. We had, and I'm not gonna lie. We had the same stats, almost the same stats as the Niners. We had the same record too. And it's like you guys did not run the ball at all, and that that hurt. We you should guys. have. You guys we should have ran the ball. I don't know why you guys kept throwing that shit, and that made you guys fumble and did a turnover. And uh, nah, nah. yeah, don't get me wrong, Dan Campbell is a great, great coach, mm-hmm. but he made some questionable decisions. So I'm not gonna lie. He did. He really put the. He put a. I think he gambled <laughs> instead of <Yeah>. Campbell. <laughs> yeah, he really. Yeah, he really did, bro. <laughs> Dan Campbell. Dan gambled. Yeah, he yeah, did. He gambled it. That's crazy, man. Uh, but um, if, if if I guess early predictions, although I'm a Cowboys fan, I'm not gonna say the Cowboys because they disappoint. Um, but uh, I guess I would I would probably say <sighs> I has to probably go with Kansas again. Sadly, possible, bro. Okay, it, it, bro. I could give you probably like three scenarios. I could be Kansas. Or the Ravens or the oh, Buffalo Bills. Yes. Either either one of those three are gonna be in the AFC for for the AFC. Yeah. NFC, it could probably be again the 49ers. I'll give you the 49ers. Uh-huh. Well, let's see. How let's see. Well, based on what I know, because there hasn't been any trades between them so far. But I'll stick with the 49ers for next year for the NFC. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll say, uh, I'll say Green Bay. Oh my God, bro! You're literally predicting what I have in mind, bro. It's fucking just crazy. because, just because, I, I, I I'm not a Packers fan, but I'll say Green, uh, Green Bay, the Packers. Jordan, hey, don't sleep on Jordan Love, bro. Nah. He's a great quarterback, bro, he and is, he runs he's, the ball. He's learning. He's gonna be yes. good next year. He's gonna uh, be really good. And then the other one would probably be, let me think, not the Philadelphia Eagles. Not, wait, what? What are you saying? Lions. No, not Lions, bro. Oh, I'm not going to say the Lions. I'm not going to say the Lions. I can't say the Lions over the Packers right now. I just can't right now. Um, the, My final NFC would probably be, Fuck it, y'all. I'm going with my Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Watch me get Respect- disappointed. Yeah. Watch me get Respect- disappointed. Though. Nah, bro. That's a that's a respectable. That's those six teams you mentioned are are like really good contenders. That those are. I think those. I picked those six because I think those are like close are like closest to to get to a Super Bowl right now. Oh yeah. If For they right really now, yeah. tried. If they all really tried, you know. Yeah, right now what where, where I stand on the lines are mainly like you need to get more players. Like right now, I think we 
picked we picked up another player. Uh, uh, some who Ertz. What's that? I forgot his first name, but we picked up a really good player from, I think the Niners. Uh, so I mean, with the Bears, although I'm a, uh, I could say I'm a Bears fan, but I'm not really a Bears fan. Yeah, I feel you. We I'm have the same the, way with the Tigers. Feel, I still feel with the I still we have the number one pick still, which I feel they should just get. We should they should really make up their mind. Although I know mm-hmm. Caleb, Caleb Williams doesn't really want to come here to Chicago. Uh, but I don't know. Um, he should. I'm not gonna lie. He uh, if they're gonna stick with Fields, then stick with him and then get him a good receiver, not a receiver. Get yeah. get the one that's next and stuff, which I forget what's the kid's name. That that's coming up. I forget what's that kid's name. Um, he's the wide receiver. He's a wide receiver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I know who you're talking about, but I forgot his name. Yeah, I keep forgetting his fucking name, but he's a good ass wide receiver. Bro, he's coming but, up. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of he's 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 coming up like Aiden Hutchinson, like the Lions, almost that uh, type of level stardom. But I don't know, man. I'm kind of just pissed off on Fields because, like, he tries and he doesn't try. Yeah, he Justin Fields can't do better. And it's like, come on, guys. I feel like you guys need. I feel like you guys can get a better quarterback. Uh, the part of me also says we should get another quarterback, but I don't know, man. I think if we kind of do put enough effort into this kid and give him weapons, we'll see. Yeah. But I don't know. But then again, like uh, we were we were talking before. Well, in the other episode is that if we do give up one, the first this number one pick, we get an, we get two number one picks. Oh, yeah. So then if anything, we'll just pick up the uh, the QB of that year. But again, it's like, again, we're, we're, at some point, I feel like you're starting from scratch again. And I feel like you don't want that. If you can, bro, if you can pick up. Michigan's quarterback, the I think his name is JJ McCarthy. Mm. Bro, if you pick him up, that's different because he's a, he runs the ball. He was really good. That's how he won. Yes, he, they needed him pretty much to win them the title for Michigan. They Michigan's different, bro. Like when it comes to football. Yeah, I'm sure. At least we won something. The Tigers ain't doing shit. I wish they were. Uh-huh. How's the oh. Pistons doing? <laughs> bro, we're not even gonna talk about that, bro. Oh there were like two and forty nine and shit like that or whatever. Uh-huh. They they had I know that's the worst season ever. For, for Pistons history. Pistons? Damn. Yes, yes. That's crazy. There's a video of uh Cade Cunningham actually. He's uh like defending the ball almost, and mm. a fan was like, "You want to get traded? You want to get traded?" And you can just see him go. You know, as he's playing, he <laughs> shakes his head, "Yes." <laughs> you just have to look up that video. It's, I mean, I don't blame him, but if he stays and we can get some more players, which I mean, I hope the Pistons do pick mm. up more players. We might have a good team, but I don't know. I don't know about the Pistons. Oh, yeah. We'll see, bro. We'll really see. Detroit sports is kind of confusing right now. I just know that college football for us is going well. <laughs> it sucks that we lost Jim Harbaugh, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You guys did. He's going back to the Chargers. He's, well, going, he's going to, going the, Chargers. to the Chargers. Yeah, he's going to the Chargers. Yeah, he's going to L.A. We'll see how the Chargers go. We'll see how they yep. how they do now. I think they'll be good. They'll think uh, he's gonna manage that team really, really well. I'm pretty excited to see uh, the brothers go go at it again. Hell yeah! I'm gonna so, take another dab. So I don't know if you know about this wax we got new into the dispensary, but it's called Eleven Roses by Roganic. Ooh, it's live rosin. Eleven roses. And it's only twenty bucks. Sounds fire. Twenty bucks a pop. She looks fire. Yeah. Let me show you. I already had some of it too. There it is. Oh, bro. I need to move out over there, man. It looks like peanut me. butter, bro. Yeah, sure, I got to move out over there, man. It's, it is a move, bro. We're called Beer City. We were Furniture City. Mm-hmm. But Beer City, bro, we have really good spots out here in GR, bro. I know you guys do have a lot of breweries as well. We also have we're, we also have a, 
a G League team. A what again? We have a, a NBA G League team. The uh the, the Grand Rapids Gold, yeah. We're affi- we're affiliates of the 2023 Denver Nuggets champions. Oh, Our city, fuck. yeah, we have the G League team to the Denver Nuggets. Oh wow. They're a pretty good basketball team, bro. We also have like, like is it like uh, for us? I think if for us it would be like the Windy City Bulls. Yep. Like that, yeah. You know, I like Grand Rapids a lot because it it's a small city. Mm-hmm. You can get by around easy and shit. It's nothing too crazy. We also have a boardwalk that splits the city and shit almost. Oh, oh what again? The, I'm sorry. We have a boardwalk. So you know, a river walk. That's what it is. Almost like say what San Antonio has. Uh huh. But it kind of divides the city. That's like one of the best smokes up. Like where I go to smoke. Okay. Be so right why by is, the water is, is, shit. Is, 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 Oh, because it's like, uh, like nature Literally and shit. Like, that's what's mm-hmm. up. Like a whole, like you just see the lake and shit, like out of your car. Yep. Even up. by the highway, you can see the 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 river and shit, and you can go fishing in there for salmon. Oh, that's what's, that's what's up. So it looks like you guys could do a lot of shit out there in Michigan. Like you guys have oh, like free it's a vibe. And... It's a vibe, bro. And the and honestly, like they're not too strict on weed laws over here too. Yeah, that's why everybody keeps telling me that. I just noticed that a lot of people recently are, are from the, all the people I've been that have been popping in the pod, which love again, love and support from all from here to all you guys in Michigan out there. Mm-hmm. You know, because all you guys are from Michigan that be popping out here, so that's really what's up. Um, but yeah, bro. So that, that's that's pretty. That's what's up. And again, you're like the only oh, yeah. Hispanic I ever met in Michigan, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like finally. <laughs> And it's funny because like uh, my girl didn't didn't slide with me that night, but she was she was at the crib. I mean at the hotel. Yeah. And I come and I come back and I'm like, dude, guess what? She's like, what? I'm like, I finally met another Hispanic. <laughs> She's like, really? I get that a lot too. I'm um, like, yes. A lot of Hispanic people, they are the, the a lot a lot of Hispanic people tell me that um. I'm the only Hispanic that they've met that is a bud tender and that can speak two languages. So I think ha- that having that as a trait and having my skill as a bud tender, that just like makes me a better bud tender than what I already mm. am. Cause I can use two languages, bro. It's a, it's a good, get, it's a good skill. Hell yeah. But so yeah, just, just in general, I'm like, yeah, that's what's up. Like finally, <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyways, uh, bro, did you ever listen to that new Kanye album? Bro. Where is it though? I tried on Spotify. Uh, I ain't on YouTube. I could not find it. But I dude, did see the new song with his daughter though. It's it's on Apple Apple Music. I don't have Apple Music. Ah, uh, you see, then this is on Apple Music. I had to I had I need to listen to it, but from what I've heard, people do like it. The one song with his daughter I did like. It's not it's not bad. Uh-huh. But I feel like he could have done a little bit better on on her vocals. It's okay. I mean, again, it's, it's just okay. a kid. It's just a kid singing it's it. Kid. I mean, again, so yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I was like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I mean, overall, I think the 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 album was good. Yeah, it's different than, of course, Donda, and it's, it's way it's, different than it, it, than like his traditional what like, Kanye used to post. Like now he goes by Ye. Yeah, but my thing is my my thing is now I think he I feel like he right he was writing a little music of like a little bit of how he used to be a little bit back then you know like yeah. how Saint Pablo you know like like that that era you feel yes. me um but again where he's dropping two more <laughs> albums he's giving us two more albums yeah uh, bro March and I think in April April like mid April he yeah. said yeah yes so we'll see how it goes. So... Yeah, bro, I'm excited. I I need to listen to a lot more of yeah. Kanye. Uh, yeah. So I'm actually uh, a big Kanye fan. So so yeah. So I was like, I've been like jamming the shit like every morning. Yeah, uh, I'm a like, big Juice fan and Kanye fan. I like dude. I, uh, I love Juice. I got a Juice World uh tat. I call it a Juice World tat, but it's like the Bart Simpson, but he has on the the nine nine on his neck. Yeah, I got and... this. I got the. The Juice World Day hoodie that got was released. Oh shit! Okay, this was up. 
Hell yeah. This thing is Wait, clean, bro. Since 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 you come out here, have you gone there? Oh, I went to go, I went to his grave, bro. I went to go visit it. Wait, wait, you wait, you you want this is this is when you went that year, right? You went to that year? This this was uh 2022, yeah. You know, like the first juice roll day. I didn't go, but this is the one. first edition of the hoodie. It's clean, it's really fucking comfortable too. I have the shirt, the white shirt where he's at he's he's rapping, like the back is he's rapping. Oh, I had I also picked up another shirt that it's like nine nine nine, but he's like doing this little thing and shit like that. Oh, it's, I, it's I, sick. It's that's I, a I, sick ass shirt. But bro, I listen I listen to a lot of his uh unreleased. Oh, he has a shit ton of unreleased. Oh music. my god. I'm a big unreleased. I love his unreleased music. Yeah, hell yeah. If you ever want to get sad and smoke. Just <laughs> turn, turn around and die. Oh <laughs> 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 no, yeah. Uh dude, I, I woke up to his to his death, bro. I woke up on the news and I was like, damn. I'm not gonna lie, that shit had me like kinda in tears, bro. Uh, I I listened to him a lot. The and then too. and then uh my group I had a group chat with my friends and they're like damn you heard they're like Chino you heard bro I'm like then he used to, he's like he was like the only one that used to play him a lot and then I, then I was like what were you talking about and then I looked at it, I was like damn he died I was like fuck yeah bogus bro he I died mean, due, he died due to a seizure too bro well, that's I mean, what's crazy it's, too it's these pills bro I mean like it's it's just like like I guess like. Like stuff like this, but then again, like like even when it gets to do with like harder pills, you feel like with opioids and shit like that. Yeah. Of course, because it is opioids at the end of the day. What he kind of overdosed on. Yeah. But man, I, I don't know. I don't know how people can get into that stuff like that. Like it is crazy. And then uh, crazy. I was I was reading an article uh, not too long ago where they were talking about uh oh it was an article on Tennessee they were to legalize weed. And they were mm-hmm. saying that they, I guess they don't, they don't want to, but because unless it's, uh, it's like the, the cannabis is scheduled to a, a schedule two instead of a schedule one. What? Yeah. I'm not, yeah. But the thing with the, what kind of like pissed me off was because, uh, they were, they were like giving examples of like what schedule one is and it was like LSD. Yeah. And shit like that. Fucking method and then, shit. Like, bro, come on. It's not like that. So then, what what they gave an example of schedule two was fentanyl, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding? What? <laughs> yeah, bro. So it's like... yeah. If you if you lace it with it, then that's what makes it schedule one. But recreational weed, bro, it's not. Come on now, you have so many benefits. Well, I don't think. I think what um like state representatives don't think about is the benefits of weed, bro. Like you have, you may have people in your state that have like certain types of, um, uh, like Parkinson's or anything like that, schizophrenia, bro. Let's smoke weed, bro. Oh yeah, it's I have, I have, I have epilepsy, and I mean, ta- I mean, I realize taking RSO, bro. That mm-hmm. shit puts me on. It's like horse tranquilizer, bro. Damn, and so- like fucking smoking weed too, bro. It's mm-hmm. it helps me a lot. It does. I mean. Like although with the medical side to like just by you know learning and and just self self you know ex- ex- like researching and stuff like that like mm-hmm. like all these different cannabinoids and that people are getting now into is it's just gonna be helping out all these people that need it for medical medical benefits you feel me mm-hmm. like like although it, it's also what I think is like it's gonna help out the customer on how to purchase and what to purchase for what it needs. You know, yeah. it doesn't really need to be now that they need to either purchase CBD or THC. Now it could be like CBD, CBD, CBDN or, or CBG, CBG and yeah, like that, or yeah. THCV, you know, like stuff like that. So that's yeah. pretty dope that, that how we're now, you know, getting that knowledge of what else is, is in this plant that could, you know, help us out. You feel me? Bro, more than like, more yeah. than what the medicine that we get off Walgreens and CVS can can, can offer. Yeah. Bro, I literally got my mom uh it's from V LASIK Labs and it's a CBD rub. And it's literally three thousand milligrams of C B D. Damn, three thousand? Yeah, it's like in a it's, white. It's a, like a little white container too, bro. It's only like thirty bucks. And this one, 
Yeah, and this will add like 34 after tax. And the it's, it's a really good rub. It also is a skate artist. Maybe a little pricey, but shit. Mm-hmm. That shit is like the best rub you can get. They have like 800 milligram of THC and CBD. Mm-hmm. Or like one-on-one ratios. Just have really good rubs in too. My mom be, be having this uh like a um, it's like a it's like a little ball where you just rub on whatever. It's oh, like whatever. like Mary's medicinal type of rub. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But it's from like Lit Labs. So oh, Lit Labs. Yeah, they they make wax too. Yeah, they do. Uh, I love I their wax, literally... but like, but uh, I tried. So here's the thing. Uh, I did a a review for their different cannabinoids gummies. Yeah. Uh. I didn't really like none of them, although like only like two or three, but yeah, it was just the gonna... flavor. Yeah. But but uh but uh, but uh their wax. Although I tried their wax, I I tried their Jack Header wax. Mm-hmm. That was fire, bro. The one that I really really liked was the white truffle uh-huh. that they had live resin, and yeah, the they were white cherry. Too. What is it? The white cherry lime runts. Ooh, that I shit was. They, that shit was I believe the best they one. had a. I think I believe they had a a white cherry gelato or something like that. They had a white cherry gelato. That's that you know, they had that too. But the cherry lime runs that they had, mm-hmm. blowing, bro. That shit was fire. Fucking that shit was so good. They should get. They. I would say they should get to start like hash rods. Is that really a big thing that's getting big? Or is that a thing that's getting big though? Oh, hash rosin is like becoming way more popular than what it was like two or three years ago, bro. Uh, like, yeah. out of smoking hash rosin, what I've realized is that you get a smoother and cleaner hit out of this shit, bro. With live resin, it's it, you, you, you cough a lot. Mm-hmm. It's not processed the same as what hash rosin has to offer. Like, this is waste. Like, it's like it's watered down version of live resin, and it's a lot better, pretty much. Like I've honestly, I I'm gonna be stuck to this shit. I'm not gonna lie. I have yet to try that. When you go to when when you get um the time back to Michigan, get huh. some of this stuff, bro. It's fire. Okay. So good. Let me try some. I'm pretty fucking big, bro. I think I've taken like seven dabs and I'm already feeling them. But um, no, my guy. Do you do you so far have any questions for us? Brother, I had a great time. It was, yeah, bro. Like, I had a great time here, bro. This podcast yeah. was sick. Hell yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, high. I, am, I oh. know, I know you're you're gonna come back in a pod soon yeah, again. Soon, hell I know yes. You're come back soon again, and maybe with some homies too, bro. We can uh, talk yeah. about more cannabis, bro. I love talking about cannabis. Love hell talking yeah. about the industry, bro. Hell yeah, hey, let's take one more dab before we before anything, bro. Hell, go hell, hell yeah, we'll give the, the, the audience a heaven. Ooh, let's oh, yeah. send us to heaven. Let's let's uh let's end this with a dab. Let's, let's end the dab episode with a dab. With a dab. With a dab. God, oh, I'm, just, man. I'm just very high and I'm ready to much. What you got plans for the next, for the rest of the day, bro? Not much, bro. I mean, just pretty much relax. I'm trying to see if I can get some content going. More Fuck content. Yeah, bro. I'm about munchy crunch, that's for sure, bro. Hell yeah. I'm motherfucking hungry. Hungry. Dude, I'm I have a pizza downstairs waiting for me, so I'm gonna fucking destroy that. Same, bro. And some shrimp tacos. Oof. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to be going to a Baby Tron concert too, bro, sooner or later. So, what again? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm going to be going to a Baby Tron concert. You know, Baby Tron? Yeah. Yeah, I know who he is, but I don't really like listen to his music. Is yeah, when you get when you really get into it, bro, you can find some heat. For real? Yeah. Um, A to Z mm-hmm. is one of my favorite songs. He every bar that he has is gonna be like, A that's for active, B for Blake. Hit him, make him do a backflip, 
Sifa Crotch. Like he he raps every single letter of the alphabet. <laughs> really? In a song? Yeah, he's like, I cannot be fucked with Jason or Jeter. And then bro, it, it's crazy. It's it's fucking crazy. He does some really good music. I feel like nowadays with hip hop is kind of like I don't know. I feel like it's wacky nowadays. Like I don't know. It's just not like how it used to be. Mm-hmm. So I I kind of like haven't really picked up on my hip hop uh like genre music. I've been listening mostly to like some Spanish corridos, you know. Yep. And corridos tumbados for sure. I'm everywhere definitely. with music. Cheers, brother. Yeah. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. 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 Oh, we set the fan other way. Holy shit. <laughs> mhm. Mm That's so smooth, brother. Oh, you got to get this wax. Is that that hash? Oh, yeah, it's the uh hash rosin. The Limit Blue Slushy. This fucking train wreck was tasteful. It's very sweet. Sweet. Oh, mine is, mine's like um fruity. Fruity citrusy type of weed. Or wax. Holy shit, I'm fried. Oh, my I God. But you know what? Before we even end this pod, just because you know what? We just did a dab. You know yes, what? Sir. I got a little woke. Some a little mythology, my guy. I know you said you weren't really deep, deep into it. Yes. So, <clears throat> just because I kind of am, you know, I really am just like an open-minded guy. So I just mm -hmm. feel like a ton of things that we don't really know that were out there. Or maybe that people have experienced that, you know, maybe it's like well, once in a lifetime that, you know, I guess we're motherfuckers always tell the people that I guess quote unquote saw shit you know is crazy or not yeah so I mean coming from like m you know the Mexican culture and all we have a lot of shit like like Llorona, the oh that shit. okay like like stuff like mm -hmm. that uh, like yes. witches, uh what else um like I can't think of other ones like we have witches. We have la chupacabra y el oh, cuco. Oh, another one too. El cuco. What's el cuco? El cuco is uh, it's almost, it's built. It's it's think of it as a muscular human, mm -hmm. but it's a rat, and it's like the fur of it is kind of spiky almost. El cuco, back in like in the early sixties and seventies, uh, it went around killing livestock and shit like that, and sometimes people. So. Cuco, like C -O -C -U -C -O? Yeah, C -U -C -O. El cuco, yeah, C U C O, like that shit. My mom used to fucking terrify me with that shit. Like when I used to play, I I'm a baseball player, bro. I love playing baseball at any time of the day. At night, I would be outside with my friends playing. You know, stick a stick, a good stick with a with a walnut almost. Hold on, hold on. That's the oh, traditional yeah. baseball I played. That shit, almost like that, like here like this one right here almost like that almost yeah pretty much oh that that's scary bro. oh <laughs> that's really scary bro my, scary. My, my mom told me i was playing baseball outside and my mom said Efraín, you um you better get in the house um before el cuco gets you Damn. oh my god i used to piss my pants to that bro like i thought that shit was legitimately real it maybe is mm -hmm. who knows but if it is, bro, I, why, I mean, why make you, why, I why makes you, what makes you think it is? Is it because, because you like you, your mom always told you since you were a kid and stuff? Not just that. I've had family members have livestock killed. Like in and, like some sort of way that you can't explain. Yeah, pretty much. Like I, I remember one time my uncle, I mean, he lives in Ponce, uh -huh. more downward and he owns, he has like a farm and, uh, what he told well he taught told my mom i'm trying to remember one night he had uh he had left the sheeps outside and he wanted to bring him back in mm -hmm. and shit and he was it was like 
maybe like 10 at night and he was supposed to do like he he brings in it in traditionally at 10 that's what, like usually where he puts him in a pen and shit mm-hmm. um but like at like 10 30 he went out to get them and shit and like half the flock was like or like half of them were dead Damn. And he had like twenty or so of them. It's fucking crazy. Damn, that's crazy. That's and crazy. I mean, they were they weren't bitten in any way, almost, but they were more like, um, savagely fucking thrashed and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they had really fucking bad scratches, and they died like bleeding out, like deep wounds and shit like that. Type shit, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, but like, I, the, like, do you know, like, the backstory to it, like, like how it became that, or like well, how it, how it got to to here, or like, shit. I mean, not really, bro. But from what I know, mm-hmm. they've had fucking uh, sights or appearances from like, or the chupacabra, that's what they call it, mm-hmm. um, here in the U.S. But in Puerto Rico, that's like where Me- Mexico and Puerto Rico are like the spots where you find apparently find them the most. Mm, okay, so it's just like it's, a different a different name to the to a chupacabra. Yeah, but yeah, we call it el cuco. El cuco, okay. But that shit is duh. That shit like legitimately sent fear through my spine when my mom said that shit. I think el cuco was like the boogeyman for us. Yeah, that's for us. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but like that's crazy. Like that. Like that. that's kind of interesting to me. But like it's like damn. Like imagine that shit. Well, like. Imagine that was actual real, like, or like, yeah, bro. I guess some cases it is real, like, I guess because some people do say, it, like, especially when it comes from like people from the from your motherland that tells you the stories. Yep. Because yeah. I feel like that's like holy shit. I think that is real. Now. I haven't had experience. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't had. Me neither. I'm glad. I, I mean, I'm, I'm glad, glad too. Yeah. But I'm like, too, maybe paranormal. Other than that, like. I'm, like, uh, I just hope the guy I don't fucking run like, into a cryptid or some shit like that. I will. Oh no, I, I, like I, that, here, I will cry like a girl, bro. Like for here, like Bigfoot. Like, do you believe? Do you think there was a Bigfoot ever? Possible. Yeah. I mean, you there's some, there have been some sightings here in Michigan too, in the UP. Really here? There? Yeah, in, oh, in in Michigan. Yeah, a lot a lot of times in Saskatchewan and like those type of areas in Canada. But like you don't think it's just like a bear or or like it could be uh-huh. it's, it might be a I don't know because sometimes if if a bear is up on a tree or some shit it may look like that uh-huh. but I don't know how people could confuse themselves with like a bear or like a, a sort of Sasquatch bro because like shit it has to be I could I mean I believe in it uh-huh. it's just like we need more proof and shit. Yeah, right. We've seen there's like that one infamous photo of you know Sasquatch on like in the woods. Oh yeah, and he's walking that, like that. The rabbi. Yeah. Yeah, that would have infamous. He had, but then again, it's like, is it really him or is it just a man in a costume? Uh, like, I, yeah. I, like, like in I it's, guess in that moment in time, like you think like he would really let himself be that close to a human like i don't know like if you were bigfoot i get like would you really let yourself be that close to a human like hell no bro fuck that like i don't know like i don't know i I just gotta Mm. think about it like that like i don't know but then again like who knows right (laughs) yeah same thing with like mothman bro like there's so many stories about mothman like oh he picked up my car oh my god or some shit like that. Like well, it's apparently, it's I guess like he, he he was at the site before that big that big bridge collapse happened in I think like seventies or sixties. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I, I remember that story. That apparently he he appeared and then the the next day the bridge collapsed. It's fucking crazy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be watching videos of that all day because I'm already fucking. I'm high as shit right now. And then um. <laughs> Did you ever hear the the Beast Road? Beast Road. Yeah, or Road no. Beast or something like that. It's like a werewolf in Wisconsin. All right, y'all. So, anyways, uh, I don't know what just happened. Uh, my <laughs> TV, my TV, my fucking computer just, I guess, I don't know, just something happened. Just connected us. I don't know. It was going good. Some some scary shit. 
I don't know, he just got freaked out. <laughs> talking, about, talking about El Cuco and it took us and shit. Yeah, low key got me freaked out too. And once it happened, I was like, oh, fuck, what happened now? <laughs> no, but uh, oh, man. I, I think that, um, I think that's just, let's just wrap it up, my guy. Again, oh, yes. thank you for sliding the can of vibe. Wow, bro. Thank you for having me on today, bro. I appreciate you. Yeah, I know. It isn't the last time I'm going to see you or talk to you, my boy. I'm yeah, we'll, we'll see. The pod soon Hell again. Yeah. Fuck yes. Uh, but but yeah, so that that wraps it up. Like, um, awesome. So, I appreciate you for having me on today. Oh, yeah. Really do. Hell yeah, my boy. Take care, everybody who's listening. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's pod, and then we won't see you to next pod epi- podcast episode or vlog. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.